What is Accelerate? Good question. Accelerate is a brand new feature added to FIFA 23, which basically allocates each player a different acceleration type. Now, in this video, I'm gonna hopefully help you out and answer a few of your questions. What is Accelerate? What are the different types of Accelerate? What do each of these Accelerates actually do? The chemistry styles affect Accelerate? And just a few other questions. And hopefully, should give you everything you need to know about the brand new feature in FIFA 23, Accelerate. So, what is Accelerate? Accelerate is a brand new feature added to FIFA 23, which has been defined as an expansion to the player movement system. Now, the idea is, is you're gonna divide each of their players into unique archetypes. So, what are the different Accelerate types and what effect do they have in game? As I said, there are three acceleration types, controlled, explosive, and lengthy. Now, controlled is essentially the default acceleration type everything you would have been used to in FIFA 22 and before, and it's the same acceleration type for everyone playing the old gen version of the game. Now explosive. These are shorter, more agile players who are able to quickly cover short distances and get ahead of their opponents, even if that means slowing down after the initial burst of acceleration. These players are quicker. These players are quicker to start, but their acceleration rate slows down. Lengthy. Taller and stronger, these players need a bit more time to get going, but you're able to catch up to anyone and even surpass them if you have enough distance. These players start slower, but thrive over a longer distance. In short, explosive players can likely do better at short distances and lengthy players can do better over long distances. So what defines a player's accelerate? In order to be an explosive accelerate, you have to be shorter than 180 centimeters and you have to have agility equal to or over 65. You have to have acceleration equal to or over 74. And your agility must be 15 or more higher than the strength. Now, the lengthy players, you have to be taller than 174 centimeters. You have to have equal to or greater than 65 strength. You have to have acceleration equal to or greater than 55 and then strength you need to have your strength needs to be 14 or more higher than your agility now if you do not meet any of those requirements you kind of you don't you're not explosive and you're not lengthy you're controlled so controlled is essentially the default acceleration type so what does this all mean a very short summary of what this all means and how it affects the players in game is that every player is allocated an accelerate which is an acceleration type. This acceleration type defines how quick a player will accelerate in game, but not only that, how long it will take a player to reach their max speed and how they react when they reach their max speed. So keep an eye out on players accelerate and see how they feel in game depending on their accelerate type. Can you see a player's accelerate in game? You can, but unfortunately you can't see it in the menus. You can only see it in game. Now in order to do that, you have to go into a game, go all the way across to your team selection screen, and on this screen, underneath the player's weak foot, skill moves and foot, you can see their acceleration type. Now, Rafael Leal, controlled. Morientes, lengthy. And then Dembele, explosive. This is how you see your player's accelerate type in game. If you wanna see a player's accelerate type outside of the game, it's easy. Go to footwiz.com, find the player you want, and underneath their acceleration type, and their sprint speed, their accelerate type. Now, even better, if you want to filter players by their accelerate type, you can do that on FootWiz as well. So, on the player search page, if you then decide to go to stats, there is a filter here, and you can filter by a player's accelerate type. So if you really wanted, you can choose your accelerate type, click apply, and it will show you all players of that accelerate type. Chemistry styles affect the players accelerate yes they do now this is where it gets very interesting because it allows you to manipulate a player's attributes in order to adjust their accelerate type so if you remember early on in the video there are criteria which needs to be met in order to become explosive or lengthy now here is 
the pitch notes from EA, just to remind you, these are all the factors which need to be met in order to become explosive or lengthy. Now, there's an easy way to check to see if a player is eligible by using a chemistry style. If we go back to footwiz.com, there is a very easy way to check. If you scroll down, there is boxes for lengthy, explosive and control. Now, what does this mean? This means if you wanted to apply any of these chemistry styles, sniper, marksman, hawk, architect, sentinel, backbone or anchor, they would all turn Lewandowski lengthy. So let's just quickly try it. So if we apply a sniper on three chemistry, he changes to lengthy. Now, what happens when we change him to two chemistry? He stays at control. Now, why does he do that? Because the difference between agility and strength needs to be 14 or more. Now, by only having him on two chemistry points, the difference is 12. You move it to three chem, the difference is 14. So the reason I show you this is that simply applying a chemistry style isn't enough. The chemistry styles that will turn players lengthy are dependent on how much the difference is between the agility and the strength. And it's the same vice versa if you're trying to turn a player from controlled to explosive. You can see what chemistry styles can be applied in order to adjust that player's accelerate. So be sure to go to footwiz.com, click on the players that you want to adjust their accelerate. It will tell you what chemistry styles you can apply and just have a play. So which chemistry styles can affect a player's accelerate? As I just showed you, it's very easy to go to footwiz.com and they do a lot of the legwork for you. However, I'm going to give you just a quick overview as to what chemistry styles can affect the player's accelerate. So for explosive, Essentially, you're trying to keep the player's agility high and their strength low. So what you're looking for is you're looking for chemistry styles that affect the player's agility, but not their strength. Now, there are three chemistry styles that can do that. A finisher, artist, and an engine. Artist being the best because it gives the most agility. Now, to turn a player lengthy, what you want to do is you want to up a player's strength and keep their agility low. Now, there are seven chemistry styles that can do that for you. A sniper, a marksman, a hawk, an architect, a sentinel, a backbone, and an anchor. Architect being the best because it offers the most strength. You see a lot of people talk about architect turn players lengthy. That's not true. Chemistry styles that affect strength turn players lengthy. So yeah, multiple chemistry styles can affect the player's accelerate. But as I said, the easiest way, go to footwiz.com, have a little click, it's all listed there for you. Is there a meta? And if so, what is the meta accelerate? For me, very playstyle dependent. I personally play a high line, whereas some people play a low line. So from a high line perspective, I need my fullbacks and my center backs to have the lengthy chemistry style, because what it does is it allows them to gather pace so that you know, they're running back. But if you have a low line, lengthy isn't as important. Same going forwards. If you play that short ticky tacker skills on the ball, explosive is probably better for you. But if you like to throw balls, chip balls over the top, lengthy is better for you. So for me, everyone seems to be talking about lengthy right now. It's very play style dependent. Don't just blindly follow the meta. Have a look individually across the pitch as well to what accelerate suits your playstyle best you'll have more success that way and in the event if things change over the year you won't be relying on a meta accelerate so is accelerate on old gen no unfortunately not accelerate is a new gen feature only so if you're playing the ps4 or the xbox one version accelerate is not a feature for you all players are as default as they were in previous FIFAs. Now I get people ask, what happens when new gen players play old gen? It's not possible. New gen players play against new gen, old gen players play against old gen. So you don't need to worry. And that's it. Hopefully this video helped. Hopefully you now know a little bit more about FIFA 23's brand new feature, Accelerator. If you did, please be sure to like, 
subscribe, and come back for more FIFA 23 content.